Hi, my name is Mr. Seelan. I'm the English department chair, and I'm going to talk to you about our dual credit offerings that we have for students. We have courses from Indiana University and Ivy Tech that we offer. The first one is Ivy Tech English 12. This is a year-long composition-based course, so it takes um, a college course and spreads it out over a year. So it gives you a little bit of a better pace for what a college course might be like as opposed to simply one semester. And that by taking the course, as long as you sign up with Ivy Tech, you will get college credit for this course at Ivy Tech. It is a college class, and it is a college composition class. Our second offering is ACP Composition. This is offered by Indiana University. This is the exact same course that they offer on campus. It is one semester long, and once again, as long as you take the course, you will get college credit. There's no test you need to take. It is just sitting for the class, signing up, and paying for the bill. The bills at the uh, college level, by the way, at the high school are much, much cheaper than at the university. They're significantly reduced. Um, our third option is ACP Literature. ACP Literature also counts as a composition credit as it has multiple papers in it, just like the other two courses. But it is a literature-based course, whereas ACP Comp and Ivy Tech are a little more uh, nonfiction based. ACP Literature is kind of the companion course to AP Literature, an advanced literature uh, course. And our last dual credit offering would be ACP Speech, where you can get speech credit at the college level. Once again, it's just by sitting in the class you get college credit, uh, as long as you pass with a C or higher. That's the case for all of these courses. As long as you pass with a C or higher, the college credit goes with you on your transcript to those schools. Hey, thanks for listening to these videos about your course options for your junior and senior year courses. If you have further questions about the courses, you can ask your current English teacher, you can ask your guidance counselor, or you can look at the description in the video that's attached.